right boys and girls welcome back to the channel good to have you here so basically today I want to talk about if you're a new rider the five things that you really want to focus on in your first year of riding and number one is going to be vision like where you have your eyes where you have your head because it's super important because basically wherever you look that's where your body will naturally lay in the bike and that's where the bike will naturally want to go and one thing we all do when we start riding as well is you tend to look down at your front wheel because you're so sort of nervous about being on the road you know and like oh my god I don't trust the surface of the road and I don't trust my bike so you've really just got to learn to drag your eyes away from that front wheel and just trust the road trust your bike and just look up at the horizon and the further ahead you can look the slower everything feels so suddenly you know your peripheral visions working you can see all the cars around you keep a good amount of distance always follow behind at a really good distance because you never know what this guy's going to do up here and you just feel a lot more in control because you just have those extra seconds of that horizon vision to decide okay well what do I need to do if, if this guy breaks in front of me okay where do I want to go where's my little exit strategy is it over to the left here so I can go into that little bike lane what's this guy doing okay they're slowing down so a million things to think about and just looking through turns it really just it will revolutionize your riding you'll feel so much more confident coming in and out of turns where the traffic's lying and it just makes a much more enjoyable ride so the second thing is it's what I'm calling ego I guess and it's like you know as you do get a little bit better and a bit more confident you're gonna want to sort of push it and that's all good but I'm talking when you start to ride with buddies in groups and they might be a little bit better rider than you or maybe they've just got a bigger ego than you and you just start pushing each other and you can't help it like everyone does it I've done it and before you know it on a group ride you're just flying into these corners way too fast because you want to keep up with the, the, your buddy in front and you're just on the edge of your ability for the whole ride and like it's tempting to think that's going to make you a better rider because you're like forcing yourself but it actually isn't because if anything happens and you lose confidence it just it, it puts you back if you prefer to ride alone like a lot of people do that's that's great too that's fine because you're in control of your own experience you're in control of how fast you're going how hot you're entering the turns and coming out and just do research too look into things like you know what is trail braking what is correct use of the rear brake and the, and the front brake and that basically leads me to my next point which is just practice every time you get on the bike either before the ride or after your ride just go into a parking lot for 20 minutes or longer if you've got the time and just practice your things like emergency braking you know and there's so many amazing videos on emergency braking and trail braking and you know slow maneuvering and it's a super satisfying feeling is is when you do get that friction zone figure out where the power to the back wheel how that affects your balance and it's basically as long as you've got power to your back wheel you're never going to drop the bike you will, I, I promise you if you figure out your friction zone that zone where you've just got the tiniest amount of power to the back wheel which is just giving it enough to stand the bike up you will never drop your bike reading the body language of cars which sounds weird but trust me you'll get that the motorcyclist sixth sense and you can see when a car is behaving a bit strangely you know are they looking for a park are they lost are they 
indecisive about turning left or right and sometimes they won't even indicate and suddenly over the lane they go you know and it's scary as shit when that happens so you've just got to really keep your distance and assume assume the worst and that's kind of the the exhilarating fun part of, of riding is that you're really out here in the battle zone you know you're a two-wheeler these guys are kind of out to get you man and like they don't see you if they're on their phone or they're in a bad mood or they just want to get home from work they don't give a shit about anyone else and the last thing is accept the challenge accept the fear like live with your because it is it's going to be scary at times and there's going to be really sketchy moments but just embrace that fear and know that it's going to be fine because you are putting all these other things into into practice and it's that fear and exhilaration that is actually going to be the biggest reward for you the combination of fear and exhilaration and it just gives you such a rush you know because you're going into such a state of focus every time you're on the bike it just really wakes up your nervous system and makes you feel amazing it's so cool so guys mud pie caviar give us a, a subscribe because i love getting into this content you know i love reaching out and communicating getting comments it's cool man so just yeah give us a like and a subscribe and we'll see you in the next one ride safe Pay attention to the